we start with breaking news at 6.30 as you wake up on this Thursday morning. A Concord police officer is dead and another hurt after a late night shooting. Please keep the officers of Concord Police Department in your thoughts and the family. We are on your side with live team coverage. Our Sharon Hayes is giving us the latest in this investigation as police continue to investigate nearly seven hours later. Uh, Christy O'Connor is live at Concord Police Headquarters where we are waiting for an update from the police chief. And our Abby Tedros is in the Alert Center as condolences continue to pour in. Plus, it is a first alert morning. That it is, John, for two reasons. I'm concerned about pockets of very dense fog, zero visibility right now, the I-40 quarter, and that also happens to be where I have temperatures that are below freezing. There could be some ice on some of those bridges. I'll have your complete forecast coming up. And multiple schools are making changes to their schedules because of the weather. You can see a running list on our website. Just go to WBTV.com slash closings. It's a heavy morning as we start this Thursday, December 17th, but we are certainly glad you are with us. I'm Mary King alongside John Carter. And we start this morning with breaking news. It has been a tough morning in the Concord community. A police officer is dead, another hurt after a shooting late last night. So take a look at this map here. This is where it happened. Concord police say it happened just before 11 o'clock on Gateway Lane near the Sonic Drive-In and KFC restaurant. And you can see this is just down the road from both Concord Ford Mills Mall and the Charlotte Motor Speedway is just east of I-85. Well, we were there as the body of the fallen officer was taken from that shooting scene down I-85 into Charlotte toward the medical examiner's office. Roads were blocked to honor the sacrifice the officer paid. Our Sharon Hayes has been live at the scene in Concord this morning uh, since really shortly after it happened where that officer lost their life. Yeah, Sharon, you've been there all morning and you've been uh, working to get more information. So walk us through what we know at this hour. Well, good morning, John and Mary. Yes, this investigation is still ongoing, but as you can tell, Concord police officers are still very much behind me here investigating what has happened. And just based on what Taylor and I have been seeing, you can see that they've kind of focused their investigation right outside of this Sonic. Not sure if the Sonic is connected to what has happened, but I've seen them walking back and forth inside. And again, a lot of the officers are kind of centralized on this point. Now, as far as the information that we know, the shooting happened shortly before 11 o'clock last night. And in that shooting exchange, uh, two officers were shot, one with non-life-threatening injuries. And then, you know, tragically, the other officer lost his life. We were also told by a spokeswoman with the city of Concord that the suspect is now dead as well. Now, what we don't know at this time, uh, time is the circumstances that led up to that shooting or why police were called out here to this area in the first place. We also don't know the identity of either of the officers or the suspect at this time. But as soon as we find out that information, we will update everyone on that. Meanwhile, uh, we are looking to a press conference that the Concord police chief is supposed to be holding at some point this morning and that is when we're supposed to be updated with more details but we'll continue to gather out here on scene and until we do have more I'm Sharon Hayes reporting live in Concord WBTV on your side. Sharon, thank you. And we do want to give you an idea of the size of the Concord Police Department. There are 188 law enforcement officers and approximately 40 civilian workers. Now, overnight, the city of Concord tweeted asking for prayers for all involved. And they also noted you can show your support by contributing to a memorial outside of police headquarters. And our Christy O'Connor is live there now at the Concord Police Headquarters. And uh, Christy, you told us earlier that the police chief's going to give us an update after speaking with officers following the day's first shift change. So what's the latest? What do we know right now? Yeah, John, Mary, good morning. Within the last half hour, we've seen several police officers report into the police department here. Remember, there's an oncoming shift of officers who are waking up to this terrible news. And here to give us an update of what's going on right now before we hear from Police Chief Gary Gasick is a department spokeswoman, Allison Summit. Allison, obviously a very tough morning for the Concord Police Department and a lot of tough conversations to be had this morning. Yes, ma'am. 
Chief's first priority this morning is to ensure that all of his officers are aware of the situation and that everyone has someone to turn to, whether it be a chaplain or a fellow officer, that they are here to support each other. And he wants that to be his first priority, along with the family of our beloved fallen officer. Well, we certainly have been thinking about the department throughout the morning, and a lot of the community members will be waking up to this news. Unfortunately, this is the third police officer in our area who has lost their life this week, and we've seen an outpouring of support for those other two officers. I'm sure the same will be said for this officer. What can the community do to show their support for law enforcement? So we know that the community is going to want to pay their condolences. Um, we have set up where you can come to the Concord Police Department at the corner of Cabarrus and Spring Street, and you can lay your flowers, cards, whatnot there um, to pay your respects to our fallen officer. All right. Well, we certainly thank you for the information overnight. It has been a very long night, and we do expect to learn more from Police Chief Gary Gasick this morning, as Allison has been informing us. We don't know exactly how long it will be before the police chief will be speaking to the public. Of course, his first priority, as she said, is the oncoming shift and his officers, who he will be bringing briefing first, but we will be here as more information develops. For now, reporting live from the Concord Police Department, I'm Christy O'Connor, WBTV on your side. Christy, thank you. Our hearts are certainly with them. Of course, our hearts are heavy because, as Christy mentioned, this is the third law enforcement officer that the Charlotte community has lost in, in just over a week's time. Mount Holly police officer Tyler Herndon was shot and killed in the line of duty just this past Friday. It was two days before his 26th birthday. Rowan County Deputy Kara Alsip died in a car crash last Wednesday. She was parked on the side of the road. A car slammed into her vehicle, uh, and so we have seen an outpouring of support as Christy just mentioned for those officers and as people are waking up this morning, we're already seeing an outpouring of su the support for the Concord Police Department, John. And our Abby Tedros is following this angle of story for us and has community reaction. Abby. Just to give you some context, this story on our WBTV Facebook page already getting 600, more than 600 reactions. Taking a look at that, those comments this morning, uh, Tammy Brown saying thoughts and prayers for the family, friends, and the Concord Police Department, Rochelle White, prayers going out to the family and friends as well. Marie Emery saying too much sadness and turmoil going on right now. And Alan McCone saying that the officer's family who died will hate Christmas for a few years to come. Uh, just another aspect of this situation to consider a tragic loss just days before the Christmas holiday. But again, more than 600 reactions coming into our Facebook page within the last couple of hours. So we are expecting more out pouring of support to come in for the Concord Police Department again as more people wake up throughout the morning. Mary and John. All right, thanks a lot, Abby, and, and be sure to stay with us here at WBTV for continuing coverage of this Concord police officer line of duty death. We are on your side bringing you the latest information on air and online at WBTV.com and on the WBTV news app. It is 16 minutes before 7 o'clock. We'll continue to follow this breaking news after a Concord police officer was shot and killed and another injured. These are live pictures from near the scene there in the uh, Bruton Smith Boulevard area. This happened on um, uh, near the Sonic Drive-In and the KFC uh, restaurant there in that area just east of I-85. Uh, we're told the suspect was also killed in this. However, none of the identities of any of the people involved have been released, and we are still working to get information on exactly what happened here. I want to also give you a live look from the Concord Police Department this morning. The city of Concord has told us that you can show your support by contributing to a memorial outside of police headquarters. The Concord Police Chief is briefing his officers right now, and we're expecting to get an update from him soon. So we will continue to follow this and bring you any updates as we get them throughout the morning and the day ahead. We are staying on top of this developing story out of Concord where a police officer is dead. Another was hurt in a shooting last night. And this is particularly tough because this is the third member of law enforcement in our area that we have lost this week and the second in line of duty death.
Mm. We want to give you a live look from the scene now where this latest has happened. This is near the Sonic Drive-In at the KFC restaurant off Bruton Smith Boulevard up there just off I-85. Police say it happened just right before 11 o'clock last night. Now, a suspect was also killed. None of the identities of the officers or the suspect have been released yet. Now, we have a team also standing by at police headquarters awaiting an update from Concord Police Chief Gary Gasick. We are told that he's meeting with officers following the first shift change right now, and we should get an update after that. Now, the city of Concord told us you can show your support by contributing to a memorial that is starting outside of police headquarters. In fact, just a moment ago, that bouquet of flowers was set right outside of police headquarters. WBTV will continue to follow this and update you throughout the day, of course, on air, online, and through the WBTV News app as soon as we continue to learn more.